All right, what up? This is your boy Fresh, and I am the inventor, and I pattern the slap of bitch moments. Okay, if you do not know what a slap of bitch moment is, it's when you just take that right hand and you just slap the fuck out of a bitch. Just take up all your anger in one hit. But anyways, um, you know, I'm a hyper commentary person. Is I yeah yeah I do a lot of hyper commentaries basically. So you know I figure. One day out of the week and everything. I'll do a chill commentary. And actually, I've been thinking about this for a while. But, you know, I wasn't really so sure about it. But, you know, um, I feel you. Every, um, every Thursday nights, I guess you could say, you know, I'll do a chill commentary. It might get uploaded early Friday morning, like 12 o'clock-ish Pacific Standard Time. But, you know, I figure I'll go ahead and take this time to uh, talk about topics and everything. So... Right now, I'm actually going to talk about, you know, why I started YouTube and, you know, what my inspirations are and everything and good advice for people that are starting on YouTube. And you're probably going to hear the exact same thing that everybody else is telling you. But, you know, man, you know, it's, it's the truth and it is what it is and everything. So, you know, so I started you. Well, actually, I made a YouTube account sometime in no way. Actually, this month, um, shit, I don't remember. But then I actually made. I started making videos at about oh nine ish. It was I played this game called Adventure Quest. I don't know if you know what this game that game is or whatever. But I played it a lot. And like when I moved to my dad's house, I was like. Yeah, I didn't have my Xbox Live or anything. I had my Xbox Live with me at the moment, you know, because I had moved and everything. So, you know, I was just playing that until I got my Xbox back, until I got back online and everything. So, you know, I, I made videos out of that. I ended up gaining, like, around 22 subs out of that. And then I just stopped posting and everything, you know. But then, you know, since it was 09 and everything, I heard all about Machinima you know, well, actually, I heard about Machinima 2010, I'm tripping, but, you, yeah, you know, like, no, I was right, I heard about Machinima 09, see, I'm, shit, yeah, around 09-ish and everything, so, you know, I heard about that, well, I watched all their videos and everything, and I was like, you know, I want to do something like that, so, you know, come around, like, November, when Black Ops actually came out, you know, Blackout, Black Ops actually came out and everything, actually start doing it because of the whole theater mode and i you know with the whole um damn it what was it called with the whole um you could upload your clips to youtube and everything so you know i started doing that and everything so i did up to november of whenever the game came out to about december 27 ish or whatever and then uh, then you know i got my capture card and everything and that's where everything went up you know, I did my first commentary and everything, you know, some of my old subs and everything, they was telling me that they liked it, you know, it just kind of went up from there, you know, at first, you know, when I was watching them now, I was like, man, I was just so boring back then, I was like, damn, but then, you know, after that, you know, I found inspirations and everything, you know, started to change it up, you know, a little bit and everything, because I always wanted to be unique, I never been one to be the type of person that does what everybody else does. You know, I always want to be unique and change up and everything. So I went from that boring commentator person to the hyperactive act, act hyperactive person that you guys all know me as. And in real life, I really am like that. But you know, commentaries, I ain't really want to freak anybody out. So you know, I never was hyper and everything. And now honestly, I can give a fuck. Like you know, I'm hyper than a motherfucker in this bitch. I know this shit ain't chill right now, but you know, motherfucker, I'm just hyper than a motherfucker in this bitch. You know, I can care less what everybody else say about me. You feel? You know, I'm just doing me. I'ma be me. You know, that's just how it is. But you know, yeah, I was just like, damn, boy, I was so boring. I was like, I can, I can't stand watching it. But you know, man, I found inspirations and everything. You know, I always wanted to stand out. So you know, I always try doing things different and everything. Like, my, like, I'm going to put it to you like this, like, Jay Easy, that's my favorite YouTube commentator right there. I mean, I watch the live streams. Uh, lately, you know, I've been slacking off a little bit, but, you know, I watched one of them today. You know, that shit was funny as hell. Presador is my second and everything. Mark J, you know, they, they like, laid back. Well, can't really say laid back, but, you know, they cool people and everything. So, you know, like, I try to be uh different and, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Stand out from the crowd. So, you know, that's why, like, 
That's why I can't really do a normal commentary like this. Which, you know, I don't mind doing one every once in a while, you know. Every week or every other week and everything, you know. That's pretty cool. But it's like, <laughs> you know, man, your boy Fresh got to stick out from everybody else. You know, and, you know, that's just how I got to be, man. Because I, I never want to be a part of the crowd. I'm always trying to think of ways that can get me out of the crowd. Why else would I play Call of Duty butt-ass naked? I mean, who else do you know play Call of Duty butt-ass naked? You see? You feel me? You, you see my logic and everything? <laughs> but, you know, it's been a long journey. I mean, because, like, back then I had, like, 20 subs and everything. And I'm just telling you, like, just recently I hit... 100 subs around June-ish, no, it's actually around July, actually, July, I hit 100 subs, and, uh, you know, that was a pretty big accomplishment for me, but I'm gonna just let you guys know right now, it's like, your hard work won't go unanswered, because, like, you know, you might just keep putting out the best content you could put in everything, and keep trying, and nothing's gonna happen, well, you just gotta keep trying, you know, this YouTube thing never was supposed to be easy. Well, it was a lot. It's a lot easier for the people who thought of things first and everything. But when you're just like um, when you're new to the scene and everything, you know, after everybody's done it a lot, you know, it's it's not easy. So you gotta be dedicated, and motivated to it. That's why I bought a freaking PVR when I had 33 subscribers, because I knew I was going to be dedicated to it, because honestly, I didn't really have to, because if I wasn't really serious, I would have bought a Dazzle or something, but I was like, you know what, if it ain't the best of the best, it just ain't getting uploaded, period, and done, but yeah, man, it's like, you got to be really dedicated to it, because it's not going to be easy, but when you do keep posting, and your hard work, and everything, you will get noticed. You will see some other bigger people that notice you from everything. That's why I'm at 580 subs right now. Because in July, I hit 100. Literally two weeks later, I hit 500, you know. And it's just like, it was just such an awesome experience for me. You know, that was a huge thanks to GFX Lab for allowing me to do that dual con with him. You know, it's just like, your work won't go as You know, you just like, keep putting forth the effort to try to, you know, to try to put content out, and trust me, you will get noticed, everything will go fine, but you know, just some more advice, it's just like, you gotta enjoy what you do, and be yourself, unless you're born, I mean, if you're born like, you know, man, um, I go ahead and uh, shoot this dude, and I pull out my caps, and uh, I just don't know what to do now, I'm just gonna go ahead, pick up my scar age, shoot him, I don't know what he was doing, scratching his ball, see, you know, you, you don't do that, you gotta have the highs and the lows in your voice and everything, you know that, but like when you after you do your first commentary, you go you'll get used to it and you start opening up more. You know that's how it kind of was for me. I was a little shy in my first one. I was saying um and uh a lot, but you know after a while it's like I'm adapted to it. I'm used to you guys and I know you guys like what I do and everything. You know I really hope you guys can appreciate this commentary because I know it's kind of weird seeing me do a normal commentary for once, but you know it is what it is, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't worry, the funny commentary is never going to stop, but my mind's still going on what, what what's the next funny commentary I can do to just, like, just make everybody laugh, because that's what I love doing. I love entertaining people, and, you know, that's the whole reason why I started this YouTube thing and the inspiration, like, Jay-Z, and most importantly, you guys as my subs. Like, you guys are the main reason why I keep doing it. You guys are my biggest inspiration, so, you know what? You guys keep being here for me, and I'm going to keep putting out the best content I could put out. All right, but this is your boy, Fresh. I hope y'all enjoy the chill Thursday night-ish commentary and everything. And, you know, we'll see where this goes from here, depending on the feedback and everything I get back. But this is your boy, Fresh, and I'm out. All right, peace.